everyone and welcome to another episode of Solving Problems in My Farm. My name is Carla Garcia, Hort America's Technical Service and Consultant, and today we're going to learn the difference between PPFD and lumens. When we work in an enclosed environment with artificial lighting or in a greenhouse with supplemental lighting, we're always looking for the best lighting options. When we are looking for light fixtures, we always come across different units that are used to measure light. So lumens and PPFD are two units that are used to measure light. And I know based on uh, my experience with growers and uh, customers that sometimes uh, we can have difficulties on understanding the difference between all these variables. So let's just start speaking about PPFD, which is a unit that we, we have many videos speaking about PPFD, which is the ideal unit to measure light in plants. So PPFD stands for photosynthetic photon flux density, and that would be the amount of light that is between the section of the spectrum that is useful for photosynthesis in the plants. So in this case, uh, we call this section PAR, the photosynthetic active radiation. So all the photons of light that are between 400 and 700 nanometers, those are measured when we are measuring PPFD. So this would be the best option. I mean, if you are measuring light, it's better to measure light in PPFD. If you are acquiring a new light fixture, it is important to get the information also in PPFD. So if that is not the case, lumens and PPFD are two units that are used to measure light, but the focus and purpose of these variables are different. So in the case of lumens, Lumens is a variable developed on how humans see light. So it's basically quantifying the amount of light perceived by human eye. So in this case, this, depending on the spectrum, we have different sensitivity in our eyes to see light. So that is measured by a lumens. And lumens is also used to measure light that is, in this case, not for plants, uh, for example, to see the brightness of different light fixtures. So if we compare these two variables, we can then understand that if we are working with plants, it's way better to measure light by PPFD. So photosynthetic photon flux density would be the best unit to understand what is going on with our plants. And this unit is expressed as micromoles per square meter per second. So it's very important if you're getting a light fixture, always ask for the information in the correct unit. Sometimes we get documents about the information of the lamp, so it's very important to have there the intensity expressed as micromoles per square meter per second, and also to get the efficacy in a micromoles per joule. So the efficacy, so efficacy will tell you how efficient is your lamp, and this will impact your operational expenses. So efficacy is a, a calculation that is made based on the light input depending on the wavelength and the light output depending on the electric components of the lamp. So it's measured in micromoles per joule usually, and we want to have a high efficacy on our lamps. Usually something around two, uh, two micromoles per joule will be a good efficacy. So probably the main question in here will be, can we make conversions between lumens and a PPFD in case we get, for example, the information in units? Yes, it's possible the, to have conversion, but it will be hard to have a very accurate conversion because the conversion will be based on the spectrum. So usually if you want to make a conversion from a specific lamp, from lumens to PPFD, you need to get, uh, for example, the factor of conversion usually should be provided by the company. Otherwise, you will have to look for, you know, a general conversion for, let's say, lamps with blue and red and white, for example, uh, but probably will, won't be exactly the spectrum from your lamp. So basically, it's not possible if you don't have a conversion factor provided by the company to get the real PPFD uh, by using, you know, probably a conversion factor that, that we can find on a website. And that's why it's very important to select your light fixture correctly. And uh, this is a way to evaluate who is providing you the lamp. 
usually a good company will provide um, the information expressed as PPFD for the light intensity, will provide you efficacy in micromoles per joule, and that will provide you information so you can understand what is going on with your plants and you can calculate, for example, the photo period uh, to uh, have uh, exact DLI that the plants requires, and uh, that will help you to reduce your operational expenses. And that is a little bit of information that can be useful in order to evaluate your light supplier. It's very important to do a good investment in this kind of projects. So I hope you enjoy this information and you find this inf information useful. Let me know if you have any comments or if you have any questions uh, in the comment section. And subscribe if you want to keep learning about uh, supplemental lighting and plant factories. Remember, my name is Carla Garcia, Hort America's technical service and consultant. See you on the next video.